Hey pottery peeps, excuse the sweaty mess. Um, it's actually midday here and it looks like it's um, evening. We just had a major thunderstorm come rolling in. We've been under flood watches and um, hail damage and all that um, stuff, which I find exciting. <laughs> so we just got a, a torrent of rain hitting and it's super dark. So hopefully there's not too many shadows. This is going to be a quick video. Um, until this arm is back, we might be doing some quick videos. Pretty much I'm trying to search my brain on the stuff that I can do that um, isn't too much of a stressor. Because some of the stuff I've been doing has been stressing it too much. Anyway, um, it's just going to get better because time's going to go by <laughs> and I'll be able to do more. Um, I'm going to make leaves. These are um, easy money. I don't sell them for very much. I think I sell the spoon rest for like eight dollars. The leaves themselves, which are great for ring dishes or votives, for five dollars. And I've got a market coming up, two of them, one studio sale in October and the art festival in September. And as we get closer, I'll put information on um, when that's going to be and where and so forth. But um, so these are kiln fillers and. They also sell really quickly, and so um, add them to your fall, fall stuff because they're easy to do and um, they sell. And I was actually looking for one that I might have in my own decoration. I'm gonna, I think I've got some that I kept for myself, but I can't find them, so maybe I sold them <laughs> anyway. Let me go ahead and lower you down. I do have um cookie cutters, leaf cookie cutters, two different sizes of the um, maple leaf and then an oak leaf. And, but I do have a trick that I do that makes them look even more realistic. And it's paper. So, all right, let me lower you down. So these are some orbs that I have gotten from Michael Harbridge. Um, a ball, a bowl, anything with a rounded, you know, rounded shape would work. I'm just gonna lay them over this to um, shape them. But I take a plastic back, and I've tried other things like plastic itself, it doesn't work as well. But I take a plastic bag and crumple it up, and then I roll the plastic bag into my slab. And I'm not even real particular about how I roll it in there. What this is going to do, I will draw like the main veins of the leaf into, well, into the leaf. But leaves have all these little tiny veins. And so the plastic bag really helps make them, sorry, that's so squeaky make them look, make, shows all those little mini veins that leaves have. So, and I use the bag over and over and over again. So I've got myself a crumpled piece. We'll go ahead, not with that arm, I won't. I'll release this from the table. I'm gonna grab Let's see where it is. That'll work. Let's see. This one might work better. These rubber shapers I really like for this. But I'm just going to go around. Actually, these ones I don't normally do my cutouts. Um, but I'm kind of in a hurry. And you'll find out next week why. <laughs> but for right now, I'm just doing something quick. Um, so I don't really want to spend a lot of time cleaning them, but I'm just going to go ahead and press these in here. One of the things I don't like about the saran wrap is it tends to pop up the sides and I don't particularly care for that. So that's one of the reasons why I don't use the saran wrap very much. But these ones are the oak leaves. I'm just going to do random leaves. it's actually hard to, for my arm to press in. 
And these bigger ones I use for spoon rests. I sell these once for more. They, they go for eight. And then when it comes to glazes, I um, I stick with celadons. But this size right here is my favorite size. Squeaky table too. So I will just go ahead and do all of these. Make sure they're on the clay. Let's put some more of the leaf, these ones. I find that the oak ones, they don't necessarily sell as as well as the maple. So I don't normally do as much as the, of them, but every now and then. Can I fit one more? Ooh, it's gonna be close. What if I do it this way? Nope. All right. So I'll take that off and then take my clay This is another reason I don't really care to do saran wrap because I tend to have to cut them out. Could be my current situation and not having a lot of strength in my arm, but. clay out of here. And my clay is rolled out to a quarter of an inch. I don't know if I said that or not. <laughs> Probably tend to repeat myself a lot. And then I will have Mickey or Savannah or somebody wedge this up for me. Oh, that was great. Put it right on the, on the one that you were working with. So, now that I've got them out, I will take, I usually see if I can get them faced my direction. This one doesn't want to come up. If they don't want to come up, do this. Get yourself metal ribs and push the metal rib underneath them. You'll have to clean that little bit off, but you can do that later. But just push the metal rib underneath and get them to come up. All right, so, and these guys with their, the bigger ones, I actually cut off the stem because these ones are going to be my spoon rests, and that's just going to get broken. It's just in the way. So I just cut it off, personally. And then I'll come in. Okay, it's looking really dark on the screen. <laughs> it seriously looks like it's 8, eight o'clock out here. Anyway, so what I'll do is I'll come in with this and push down and bring those main veins in and get the main ones in and then add the smaller ones and remember that they all tend to be a little curvy so curve them up something like that And then just give them whatever flourish that um, you've got. And then I will take, probably have to pick these up with the, I will put them on my, and then after they have stiffened up, I will clean them up with a sponge for this outside edge. And I'll go ahead and mark them with my stamp. And then I leave them like that. 
let's get these guys off of here. And so these ones, I've got some that are already dry. And they're like the perfect size for a spoon rest. They're not fired yet, so they will shrink some more. But So you can see how they'd be a really good size for a spoon rest. And then these other ones, I will leave for um, decorating, you know, or like like I said, little ring dishes. I just try to keep all those bumps, just give them a swirly line. we want leaves to curl up too because fall leaves curl up so I'm just going to continue to do after they've been sitting on here a while but they're not like leather hard I will go ahead and take them off and I will make sure that they will sit, you know, and not be too rounded. And then I will set them aside to dry. So they actually just get formed on this and then they, I set them over so that they're not rounded on the bottom. I just want those leaves to curl up. That's what I'm after. And then, um, so they only probably sit on there basically not long because I'm taking them off and putting other leaves. I only have these two molds. And so that's all I'm using. And then with the, with these ones, I will like push that out. You know, the little, I like the little thing sticking up. <laughs> Kind of, I don't know, gives it a little bit more, it's longer, it gives it a little bit more attitude, some interest. But by pushing them onto the mold, they kind of hold their shape. They'll relax a little bit, which is what I want anyway. And then we'll end up with a whole bunch of leaves that did not take me very long to do. And then these ones, for the spoon rests, I'll do the same thing to where I will push push the middle down so it's got kind of like a foot. So they're not going to spin and roll around. Okay? All right, so that was well that was short and sweet and hopefully this was helpful. The doing the paper bag has changed. I've done these leaves forever, but when I started incorporating the paper bag, they really come to life and they people even think that I used real leaves to press into them because they just look like I picked them up. So give it a try. Um, I actually got those from my, um, the grocery store just down the street that to the bakery that they sell donuts in. <laughs> so get yourself a donut, get yourself a plastic bag and crumple it up and put it into your leaves. Something that simple makes really great texture. Anyway, go get money. I will see you next Saturday, and hopefully I'll have a surprise. Okay, bye guys. Ooh.